So here we go, round four of the Halloween special, the last round of the Zombies deck. Hmm. We are playing against Afusin. And we actually have a, a pretty decent hand. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm going to keep it. Two lands is like the right right amount of lands for this deck. Uh, so our opponent, Mulligan's a six, leads off with a Misty. So we can assume they're playing blue. Yep. There she blows. The iron. So guessing we'll play Thoughtseize, and our opponent will probably play Brainstorm. You guys have never seen that happen before. Pretty sure. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, no way. No way he's playing the Gilded Drake deck. Oh, sweet. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, man, I love that deck. This deck is so fun. I'm glad he's playing it. I have not seen anyone play this deck. Heck, I have actually never played against this deck. I just want you guys to know that. But I've seen this deck, and I love it. It's an oldie. I'm going to get rid of Counterbalance, though. F that. So let him keep Force of Will. We can get rid of Counterbalance. Oh, yeah. And Trinket Mage. Don't like that sucker, either. So he only has one land, because obviously he's not going to be able to tap that for mana. So, but I'm going to try to be a little mischievous bugger here and cast Skuller. Um, worst case, I draw two cards with Force of Will. Worst case, I get rid of... Uh, just give me a grasp. Actually, I don't really care about Trinket Mage right now. I don't want to counter my Bitter Blossom. Of course, the will it is. <sighs> Just note of what he has in hand. Seven Grass, Trinket Mage, and Guild Drake. Crazy. Vile. Alright, that's pretty good. Flashback. I wonder if he runs white. So actually gonna play Faithless Looting right here. Two cards. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Badlands and the Swamp. And da 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 da. We'll get another we'll get another a uh, Badlands right here. We'll get rid of all of our Scrublands right now. And I'll play Bitter Blossom. We know he drew Vile, so we don't have to really worry about that. Uh, Diamond Valley, so annoying. What is he saying? Yeah, no fairies in this deck. We'll keep them guessing. I'll get them from the Bitter Blossom. Technically, yeah, I do. They're from Bitter Blossom. Ah, oh, so he's still kind of playing around with this deck. Nice, nice. I'm glad to see him playing around with it. I really like to see when people experiment with decks. And try to you know differ from the normal a little bit. I mean, I play a lot of <laughs> play a lot of mainstream decks. I mean, I play a lot, but I do. I have some homebrew decks that I've never shown you guys before. But I, was, I actually had a pretty cool infect deck that was actually pretty fun. I mean, I, it's I still took the concept for someone else, but I mean, it was my own personal one, and I think in a lot of ways it was better. I mean. Obviously, it depends on the matchup, but. Yep, so sacrifice. Boof. That's fine. That is just fine with me.
All right, so he gets his force of will back and he gains a couple life. That's okay. That's fine. We got a bit of blossom out. I'm not terribly concerned. Um, Faithless looting once more. Uh, grave crawler. Yeah, no, I don't care about my lands that much. I really have grave crawler. Uh, play marsh flats here. Get a scrubland. Uh, attack with our Drake. Which is fine. And we play Lingering Souls. And then he'll probably return his uh, his Drake back to his hand. I would presume next turn, and he'll have two counters on the vial, so. Because I don't really see him <laughs> wanting us to keep his Drake. That's going to do more damage to him than, than just taking it back. But I don't know if he'd play it again, because <laughs> why is he going to trade a 3 3 for a 1 1 and gain 1 life? Yeah, it doesn't seem very good. Doesn't seem ideal to me. But people are crazy. So he does have a trinket mage and a force of will. Oh man. Oh, uh, this is looking pretty good for us. I'm just excited to play a Drake deck. I've always seen him, but I've never actually like played against one. Or have, like seen one online, so I don't know. It's exciting for me. I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, even though it's not really crazy right now because we we're just like it seems that we <laughs> should play it. My first would be bigger. Yeah. Definitely. Let's see. What are you playing? Oh, Drake. I'm going to steal one of those little buggers. That's fine. Then use the flashback on the saving grasp after he blocks. You can either, there's two things you can do. You can block with the fairy, use a diamond valley, take no damage and gain a life, or he can kill one, kill two of my tokens, which would probably be better for him. Yep, that's exactly what I do. Smart play, smart play, good. I'm going to try to play another one of our lingering souls. And a grave crawler. And our hand is empty, and the next turn, we can play Dos Lingering Souls. Oh man, I should have put my promo ones in here. Forgot I got those. I never updated those since I last uh, played. Uh, the promo ones are fun. Oh, oh sweet. I'm actually going to talk to him real fast. Alright, sorry about that. I was just talking to him. It's nice to read uh, and uh, some fans of the articles who've actually seen it, so I'm glad. I'm glad people enjoy it. <laughs> when, like I said, when I started this ad, like I was just goofing around. I'd never really played Legacy before. I mean, I played Vintage and Classic, and I was like, "Oh, how different can Legacy be?" It turns out it's like completely different, not even similar at all. But I, I love the format. It's fun. If it's Eternal. I'm down for it. Like, even the old extended. I love the old extended, but alas, times have changed, and extended is not what it used to be. Oh man, if he had an engineer explosives. Does he? Does he? Oh man. If he has an engineer explosives, that sucks. <laughs> no! I knew it. Oh, that's killer for our deck. Uh, it's alright. 
even if we took the trinket mage, he would have been able to get it back with his um oh, what's it called? His Drake, Drake Diamond Valley shenanigans. Oh, for two. Okay, that makes sense. that actually makes sense. Um, yeah, wait, wait till my turn to play it. That's for sure. Except for I do get another fairy token. Uh, do not play Blood Gas first. We are gonna attack first. Why not? I'm gonna attack with Grape Color. Worst thing that can happen, we get rid of his Trinket Mage. Opens up the door for our Blood Goss next turn. Uh, so yeah, not gonna play Blood Goss this turn. Uh, ideal situation here, we'd play our two Lingering Souls this turn. Uh, once we get our opponent down to 10 at least, so it has haste. Oh man, but if you played... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Hmm. I'm just debating whether I should play the, the other Lingering Souls or just wait in case he has like another Engineering Explosives. I'll wait. I'll wait. I don't want to be too greedy. I use, I take a lot of risks, but I'm I'm gonna wait. I don't wanna I don't wanna risk that. Not right now anyway. Although he can gain two life from the from the Diamond Valley and his Trinket Mage. I did not think about that. Yeah, engineer explosives. Or what's he playing? Because he'll have to have two in order to activate the engineered explosives. Uh, we can actually get rid of that. That's gone, and we know he's done that. Okay, so he's going to get rid of the bit of blossom. Uh, so, yeah. But, but life's been good for me. Um, even though it's busy and I've been exhausted, because uh, I'm literally going from like 7.30 at night till usually like midnight, so, you know, I don't even get like eight hours of sleep, which is fine, I can deal with it, but, man, come the weekends, I just want to be lazy, love it, but sadly I have too much schoolwork to be done, and he's saying he misplayed that. Yeah, I can't. I can't even see what's saying. Wrong order. Oh, gotcha. No worries. No worries. Accident happens. That's why. Did legacy like um? What did you say? Dude, legacy players are really really chill. It's that's one of my things. I actually went to a paper legacy event, and I kind of have a bad taste in my mouth when it comes to legacy events because I'll usually I've been to a few uh, release events. Uh, um, what else we did? Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this chat. This chat drives me crazy. All right, so two EEs. Yeah, I think that's that probably would have been better. Yeah, that definitely would have been uh, better than playing uh, for the two mana for just the bitter blossom there. But but I'm saying um, yeah, when I, when I go to the Friday Night Magic's and any of the standard events, people get so butt hurt when they lose. I actually had a guy cry because I beat him. At a draft, I, I never go to paper events. I just don't go. And, like, it's round two, and, you know, I, I never show up. So people are like, oh, who's this guy? He's never played Magic before. Easy. And, you know, I got a really, really good pull. I'm not going to lie. I got a, it was a good draft, and I beat this guy, and he started crying. And you get all upset, and, you know, it's just like, holy cow, people. Like, oh, man. Here I go talking. I missed playing Blood Ghost. Uh, anyway, but yeah, when I went to a legacy event, everyone was super chill. Like, 
you play a game and you win and everyone congratulates you like they're like oh hey nice deck like good luck everywhere else like so far I've never had any negative experience that's all I'm gonna say I'm not, I'm not saying there aren't those people out there but yeah just let them know that <laughs> I made a mistake too so uh, it's late it's cool it's fine plus it's zombies who doesn't like zombies I mean even though right now it's like fairies and ghosts but we have what one zombie and a vampire spirit Man, they should just rename this deck. Just rename it Halloween. Ha Halloween Kitties. I think that's better. Just because you have, like, everything. Yeah, I'm just going to pass the turn. I think we got this here. Uh, so, yeah. Let's either kill our Gravecrawler that turn or um, Diamond Valley in Game to Life, which, <laughs> neg same thing. Same thing's going to happen. At this point, um, I'm trying to think here. He doesn't have a whole lot he can do, but I can imagine. I'm thinking um, play Blood Gas next turn. He can try to force a will it, but obviously he's going to die if he force a wills. Uh, even if he did have a counter, we could just use the activate the lay down the mire and bring it back. So, I mean, even though we misplayed last turn, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and that's a that's a nice thing. That's why I like playing online because people here are pretty friendly. Like uh, most people online don't have time. They usually have families and stuff, or they just don't have enough time to go out and do paper events. And they're a lot more chill and they just enjoy playing. So, so here we go. Let's go on to game two. Um, let's see. What do we? Ball therapy. Why? Because I do not know that deck well enough to be confident enough to be like, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna play Cabal Therapy. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, Disenchant's pretty good here. Mm. Looting, Bombardment. Watch, we're gonna lose because we don't have Bombardment again. That's, that's the story of my life. Uh, dark confident, and I go for the throat. I think that's good. We'll we'll see how it goes. I don't know how to put against this deck. I'm just going with what I think will probably be good. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, this hand's keepable. Thought sees dark confident, scholar, grave crawler, three lands. No, I am keeping this. And I can't type. Nothing new there. Sunburst zero. Ooh. That's yucky. Although pretty smart because uh, we might have discard, which he is correct in thinking. Sha. Chalice of the Void. Trinket Mage. Crocus. And no, none of those here, but. That's kind of annoying. Same with Trinket Mage. But the Mastermind is going to be more annoying. I'm going to get rid of Chalice, though. That's no, that's no good for us. We should be thankful that we had Thoughtsies. Otherwise, <laughs> our whole game plan would have been messed up. Wait, why do you not play? Okay. I'm going to ask questions. Just going to do it. I'm going to play Schooler here, and, yeah, get rid of his dude. That annoying little punk. Oh. Glenn, huh? Oh, yeah, it's because he doesn't have another blue. That's why. Eh, psych. Okay, ignore me. He did what he could do. So next turn, 
Ah, oh, Wasteland. I'm just gonna play Dark Comfort. Now I'm just gonna play Trinket Mage. Yeah, that seems better. Wait, what? Are you tapped for green? Misplay, maybe? Oh, yeah. Control Z. There we go. I was like, wait, what is he playing? That's more like it. So, Trinket Mage. And what is he gonna get? Another explosives or chalice? Chalice, <laughs> chalice would be terrible for us. See this I nod. I should go back and read the Meridian block books. I never finished them. I think I got <laughs> three fourths away through the last book, and then I actually never finished them. So I have no idea what <laughs> what happens. So we know he has that in hand, which is fine. Um, so right now I actually want to play Confident. Just so we can start drawing into our library. And then I'm going to get a scrub land here, or a bad lands I mean, and lay down a grave crawler. And I don't want to attack with the schooler because I do not want him to have the mastermind. That can be pretty annoying with Drake. We'll just steal all of our creatures and just, it's like an endless loop of just getting, just getting messed up. Messed up by the Drake deck. Rah. I saw the Lingering Souls promos are, I don't know, their art's pretty cool. I'll have to pull them up. One sec. I'll pull them up next. After his turn, maybe. Archmage, okay. Archmage. Archane. Archmage, arch. Arch, arch. I used to pronounce that wrong all the time as well. Go figure. To draw, draw she is. Oh, that's actually really bad for us. However, disenchant is not. All right. The disenchant. Let's see, let's see what is the play here? I don't really want to play bitter blossom just yet. Although, hmm. Alright, I'm going to just attack with our Grave Caller for right now. And then I will play Lingering Souls. Uh, worst case scenario. Uh, actually. Then he can use the Arch Archmage, Archmage to um, counter the Disenchant. So I actually think. Playing Disenchant here might be a better call in the long run. I mean, we could take his uh, Seat of the Synod, but Engine Explosives is going to kill our Lingering Souls. Um, however, he can counter with the Archmage, Archmage, but I'd rather have that happen than have him wipe away our board. Dark Confident, though, it's a risky play sometimes. But if we can get enough damage in, we, we should be okay. So top, seems good. <clears throat> good old water, I tell you, sometimes just awesome. Other times I just can't stand the taste of this stuff. Right now, I'm loving it. I just got over being sick, so my voice is still a little out of it. I did the Tough Mudder uh, about two weeks ago, I think, when it was. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, needless to say, it was fun, and it sucked at the same time. So, take that as you will. I mean, the whole time I was like, I'm such an idiot for doing this, but afterwards I was like, oh yeah, I'm awesome, but not really. Oh man. 
It's really tiring. It's like, what was it, 11 miles and 23 obstacles, I think. Surprising the shocker's the worst. I actually didn't think it was going to be that bad, but it <laughs> it was. Uh, so he does uh, the ability to counter the Lingering Souls, which is fine. I'll just pop the two lands here. Get a scrub land and a bad lands that way. Uh, if we waste lands one, it's not going to affect us that much. Hopefully. I say that hopefully. Not a guaranteed thing. And I'll pay the flashback cost. <clears throat> I'll probably wait a little bit longer before I, <clears throat> excuse me, attack in with my my Bob. Uh, like I said, I do not want to do the scholar just yet. If I can get rid of that trinket mage, then then maybe I'll attack with the scholar. But until then, not happening. I am decided to go with the Bob, uh, attack with the Bob. I really, really don't want to start losing too much life. I kind of want to draw out the, um, the block with the Trinket Mage, but we'll see. It's not a guaranteed thing. And he blocks the Grave Color, which is fine because we have Karen Feeder in hand. Oh, he's going to return Legendary. Do Of course. Oh, it's not Legendary. Okay, I'm thinking the other fairy. Gosh, I remember when fairies were everywhere, even in uh, classic, there's all over the place. You get like Jete fairies out on turn one, and they just be all over the place, and there's just, just fairies everywhere. Just such a mess. Okay, so he's going to ask right top. Instead, I apologize, guys. This is kind of a slower game, and I'm a little tired right now, so <laughs> not very energetic anymore. I'm trying to keep it, trying to keep it fresh, though. It's freaking zombies! All right, so he chooses not to block the dark confident, so that's fine. We get two damage in, which is okay. So, Ether Vial. Pretty sweet. New school art. I really liked it at first, but the more and more I see it, I'm just kind of like, eh. Kind of wears off after a while. The initial, after the initial reaction. Ugh. Three. So what I could do next turn is play Lingering Souls, Karen Feeder, and bring back the Grave Crawler. And that way we can still flash back our Lingering Souls. So he's playing Brainstorm, so like uh, in his main phase. So I guess he's really hurting for cards right now. So Misty Rainforest, I'm going to try to shuffle up and try to dig for an answer, is what I would assume. Shuffle up his library and activate the top. He could do it twice actually with the uh, yeah. Grave crawler. Blood gas. What? Say what? Tiny people, say what? So different change of plans. Blood gas kinda changes <laughs> changes what we'll be doing. Uh think you have a plan and next second later, nada. Totally different game plan. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play our other grave crawler. Seems good. Seems pretty good. And then I can lay down the carrion feeder and the grave crawler, and then if he blocks, I can just beef up our carrion feeder. And then I can start doing more shenanigans with uh, with our grave crawlers and carrion feeders. So, let's just try to attack in with all this. I really, 
really just trying to get him to, uh, oh, I didn't mean to attack with the score. Oh, man, guys, I'm, I apologize. I, however, it's not bad right now because he does not have, um, Drake or anything like that. So I'm going to get away with that. However, if he starts getting a trick, then that's going to be annoying. But it doesn't have haste, so... I mean, hopefully, we can just get in more damage right now. That is what I'm wanting. And I didn't want to sacrifice that to the carrion feeder, because I'd rather have the trigger mage die. I think overall that would be better for us. And so he's going to play the mastermind here. Which is good because it doesn't have haste, and I think by the time he is actually able to do anything with it, he won't be able to. And yeah, looks like we we're actually looking like we're we might take this thing, this game. Go zombies, go! I've actually had a lot of luck with this deck. I play it. I've been testing it a little bit here and there for like the past month and a half, and I gotta say. I win a lot more than I lose. One thing I could do here is during my main phase, I could um, I played Lingering Souls, and if he didn't block my Carrion Feeder, I could have just sacked the tokens to beef him up a little bit. Uh, but like I said, that's probably overkill, and there's no need to do that right now. It, it, we're, we're in a good position. I mean, we, we don't have to worry about Bob because we have Karen Feeder. Mm, or we did have Karen Feeder, I should say. That's fine. So it looks like that would not have happened anyway. Um, I'm not going to sacrifice Dark Confident to him. Um, like, no reason to. I mean, we were far enough ahead that if I just play passive right now in the sense that I just save my spells um, just try not to go in all the way I think we'll be okay I think we can pull a, pull a W for round 4 with the zombies zombies I should play some left for dead too I haven't played that in a while if you want fun zombie games that's a fun zombie game alright there you have it round 4 with the zombie deck so uh, win, won three games, lost one against uh, Team America or Bug, whichever one you prefer to call it. So not too shabby. Uh, like I said before, I've had a lot of luck with this deck, and it's actually really, really fun to play. You guys should definitely try it out if, you, if you're interested. And, and for the most part, it's pretty cheap. I mean, the most expensive cards are obviously going to be your fetch lands and your dual lands, but, I mean, they're not the expensive dual lands either. They're the cheaper scrub lands, bad lands. Um, so, yeah, there's the zombie decks. Hope you guys got kind of a basic understanding of how the zombie deck uh, works and hopefully how to sideboard against certain decks. Um, like I said, not too experienced with this deck, but it's a fun deck and I really enjoy it. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you guys could start uh, liking my Facebook page, that'd help me give me more... Uh, It'll allow me to enable more features and hopefully be more um, interactive with uh, my viewers, which would be awesome. You can also follow me on Twitter and, you know, just keep posted and keep an eye out for the next article. And have a good Halloween, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.